But there is a reason, Mr Deputy Speaker, why I overturned the greatest, the most significant, the largest ever Conservative majority in the country. And that is that despite the slogan of Skegness, the jolly fisherman, my constituents actually are not feeling very jolly at the moment. Because seven out of ten of my constituents voted to leave the European Union. They trusted the previous government. They took them at their word. But they feel a sense of political betrayal in a number of areas. Because part of the slogan of leaving the European Union was to take back control. The previous government promised it. Do you remember that slogan? Money, laws and borders. Yes, borders. But instead of controlling immigration and having smart immigration, which is a good thing, working, integrating, speaking the language, that is a great thing we should all agree. Instead, they open the doors to mass immigration with significant consequences on a town like Boston and I know other towns up and down the country. And I'll just give you a sort of example. During the election campaign, I went to numerous houses and on, when we, someone answered, there was one where, for example, seven people in a house of two bedrooms, Bulgarian family, only one member spoke any English at all. And they said, we're here to claim benefits, and your health benefits, and housing benefits. We prefer it in Bulgaria, but we want to take your benefits and then send the money home. This, Mr Deputy Speaker, is what is going on up and down the country, and it is completely unacceptable. I repeat, I repeat the muttering that you see, the yeah, truth hurts. In denial. The establishment don't want to talk about this, do they? But the truth is is that during the maiden speeches, everybody just keeps very quiet, okay? It's whatever you think of what's been said, the maiden speech, keep quiet, okay? I repeat, smart immigration, working, integrating, speaking the language is a great thing. But there are serious consequences to uncontrolled mass immigration. 